Your campus, your news, now. Hello and welcome to Your UT News. I'm Luis Suida. And I'm Marissa Lewis. The struggle is real in Austin Hall as students continue to deal with the aftermath of flooding in their building. Multiple floors suffered water damage after a pipe burst on the ninth floor. Since the flood, workers have taken out pieces of the walls and put fans in the hallways. Some students were notified that they had to move into the Barrymore Hotel, formerly known as the Howard Johnson, so their rooms could be repaired. On Wednesday, they packed up their bags and loaded their cars late into the night. According to students, they were told they would be living off campus for about a week. Are you interested in studying abroad? The International Programs Office held a study abroad fair to give students more information. UT News reporter Miranda Palumbo has the story. The International Programs Office was the center of attention in the Vaughn Center on Thursday. They held their biannual Spartans Abroad Fair to give students information about study abroad opportunities. If students want to study abroad, there are many options they have to choose from. Students can spend a semester abroad taking courses in a different country, or you can go to another country for an internship. There are even opportunities to volunteer abroad. Another way to go abroad is by doing a UT travel course. There were also students at the fair who studied abroad and were able to give hopeful travelers the inside scoop. UT students Chelsea Hanna and Nicole Bass took a comparative criminal justice course last spring. They then traveled to Germany and the Czech Republic. In the course, they learned about the differences between the American justice system and that of other countries. One of the days we went to a prison over there and just being able to know the differences and being able to pick out what's different definitely helped. I believe that they have a lot of good programs over abroad, especially in the Czech Republic. Um, they have the inmates there actually working for them, so I believe that's a really good program. Not only did both girls get more information about their studies, they also made some great friends and saw interesting places. I really enjoyed just the group of people that I was with. Um, it was a lot of fun just bonding with them. If you are just thinking of studying abroad, both Hannah and Bass suggest you do it. I say definitely do it. Um, it's a great experience. You get to bond with professors. You get to meet new people, see different cultures, and it's just an overall great experience. Definitely travel abroad. It's such a great experience. You get to meet a lot of friends. You get to just see so many things you wouldn't see. And it's just the opportunity is amazing. You never know where your travels may bring you and just what you can learn. Miranda Palumbo, UT News. If you were unable to attend the fair, the International Programs Office has weekly walk-in hours. UT journalism students were in for a treat when they were visited by two Pulitzer Prize winning reporters. Thursday, Will Hobson and Michael LaForgia of the Tampa Bay Times presented their series, A Home But No Help. Their articles told the story of how Hillsborough County officials took advantage of the homeless. The reporters found that a local official rented illegal and dirty property to the homeless. As the reporters continued to search, they found Hillsborough County's homeless recovery program sent people to the property. They also discovered the poor had been sent to other locations that were not well kept. The journalists presented their six-month investigation and writing processes, as well as gave students advice on stories and getting into the journalism business. You'll want to mark your calendars for this week's upcoming Spartan sports game. On Wednesday, the women's soccer team will take on Florida Southern at 4.30 p.m., followed by the men's team at 7 p.m. The ladies Spartans volleyball team will play at home against St. Leo on Friday at 7 and against Florida Southern this Saturday at 4. Make sure you go out and show your Spartan spirit. That's all the time we have for this week. We'll see you next week for more UT News.